understand that there is one force and against it another force that came from it. But what does it have to do with the surrounding light now of the Ol Makif? What is that power advancing me? I aspire for my next form. I don't exactly know what's going to happen. I don't exactly know what's going to be. Only I aspire for it. I open a book and I read about it. But by opening and reading, besides reading, I aspire to reach it, to know it, to understand what we're learning, what we're studying. As a result, I draw upon myself that very state I want to reach. And then I'm drawn to it. It influences me in return to the extent to which I'm drawn to it. I invite it to influence me. I open myself up. I make myself more sensitive to its influence. I, myself, I have zero desire to advance to the next state. It says so, and that's clear. I turn to the group, I take from them suppose 10 kilos of desire to advance to the goal, to connect between us. And that's what I study with. I want the next state in these 10 kilograms, and thus I'm in equivalence of form with the light that affects me in these 10 kilograms. It influences my deficiency, and that deficiency becomes exactly like that light. Yes. I understand that I am in 10% and equivalence of form probably with the next state that I depict. This is what I don't understand. The light and its development. The light is that which fulfills my future state. My future state, it already exists. Where I aspire for that pre-known state, it already projects that light upon me according to my aspiration. Only it's called surrounding because first of all it has to correct me and only then dress in me. Thus it's called surrounding. It also exists in physics. What if I approach a magnet or something? Did I enter its field, its influence? It's that way with everything. Even we influence each other. Around each one of us there is a field. You do not have an existing body a rock, whatever, around which there's no field. So light is only that field that's in my future state or in each and everything. Only in the future thing that you aspire for. There are many fields, but you have nothing to do with them. You don't aspire for them. You don't know about them. When you'll discover the spiritual world, you'll see what's going on, how many dimensions, not one dimension, some realm or three lines or something. You'll see what fields, what influences.